Hi everyone, May 13th, 2025. Welcome back to my channel. I want to speak to you about something extremely important that many people don't think about and or are being misled. Let me explain. Have you ever heard of your diaphragm? I made a video on this already. Diaphragm is a muscle. It is what helps control your lungs. That's what makes you breathe, not your lungs. This is the deal. You can eat perfect. You can do everything perfect. You have people like Michael Luskarden, conquer aging or die trying. You got people like Dave Ashby doing stem cell therapy. Um, I mean, David Sinclair with his, with his special, whatever he does. None of it will do anything for you or your diaphragm. What do I mean by that? Centenarians die in their sleep. Some of them are healthy. They just die in their sleep. And on the death certificates, it says old age or natural causes. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Your diaphragm has motor units. Fast, about 50-50. Fast and slow. You lose those. Now, as I said before in my channel, when you reach 75, the average person has lost 50% of their motor units. In later years, like nine years old, they have about 10% left. The longer you live, the less motor units you have. Now, what, what, what does that mean? That means your diaphragm can no longer contract, expand. They can, I cannot do this. So centenarians die in their sleep, even if they're healthy, because they can't take that last breath. You don't have to believe me. You go on and keep doing what you're doing because nothing in existence, not stem cells, not rapamycin, no, none of this, none of this stops the loss of motor units. Therefore, all these people measuring their biomarkers, oh, I'm going to, you're not going to conquer anything unless science can stop the loss of motor units. Every single person will die between the age of 115, maximum 122. 114, 118, because you run out of motor units. Ladies and gentlemen, motor units is the communication from your brain to your muscles. That's what makes you move. Once that breaks, once the nervous system cuts off, the signal cuts off, then I don't care what you do. I don't care how many stem cells you shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, please wake up. Please wake up. Stop being misled by people. They're not thinking of the future. They're in their 40s, 50s, 30s, 60s. You need to do the best you can to save. You're not saving them. Maybe you could slow them. And that's what I'm working on. You need to slow the loss of these motor units because there is no stopping them. And there is no implanting new motor units like some people claim. Oh, AI is going to create new motor units and they're going to implant them in our body. Okay, not. That's never going to happen. You cannot implant motor units in your body. Let's say they create motor neurons, axons. These are all parts of the motor unit they have to create, by the way. Neuromuscular junctions. They have to create the exact acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter. That sends the signal from, from the nerve to the muscle, everything, they have to recreate everything, including your spinal cord, including the signal that you lost. And once you lose that signal, there is no mapping that they can bring it back. They don't know, they're not gonna know where to hook up the axon. Let's say they implant, they make a new motor unit. Let's say they do this. They have to connect the axon. Some of them are three feet long from your spinal cord, the ventral horn it's called, all the way to your foot. They have to know which way it went. And by the way, once it gets disconnected and, and the motor unit dies, it doesn't leave a trace. So science has to guess all this. Now we're just one motor neuron, a motor unit, all of them. Plus, if they do put these new motor units inside the body, the rest of your body has to match the age of the motor unit. Your, your ligaments, your tendons, your your muscles, your bones, your circulatory system, every system in your body has to match the motor unit that's being replaced in your body. 
Because if it isn't, it's not going to work right. All I'm saying is this. I don't want to get into the detail of that. That's coming. I already mentioned parts of this in my study that I published. But what I'm trying to say is this. You cannot stop the loss of motor units. So once you reach the 115 mark, you run out of them. So please explain to me, all you biohackers, cold water plunging, tell me, have you discovered how to stop the loss of motor units? Because scientists to this day can't do it, or else they would have cured ALS. Wake up, listen, train, especially the air barrier. I'm gonna make another video on it, and how to really train the motor units that breathing apparatus is not enough. Not even close. I forgot the guy's name. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. It has absolutely nothing. I'm not copying him. It has nothing to do. The man never even talked about motor units. No one ever talked about motor units for longevity. No one. So I am not making this up. I'm telling you like it is. You know why no one talked about it? First of all, no one trains this. You have to start early in life to really, really... I'm not saying you can't do it in your 50s, 60s. You can only slow down what you have left. Because rest assured, you lost them. You can't get that back, by the way. You can only train what you have. And look, I'm not trying to downplay anyone. I'm not trying to sound negative. I'm telling you like it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. I have many more videos coming. Motor units is life. Motor units is life. Yes, mitochondria, et cetera, et cetera. But... Without motor units, you're not going anywhere. I mean, you take it as you want. I'm just giving you the facts here. The hallmarks of aging are a theory. All of them are theories. Motor unit loss is not a theory. It's a fact of life. Every single person slows down and gets frail the older they get. It's the bottom line. It's a fact of life. Have a wonderful day. Slow down that frailty, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.